Welcome to the assembly of God's living flames. Yeah, we're still on where we were last week. When I came down, the Holy Spirit said, you will go back and you will tell them it's time for incubation by fire. So God is the one, you know, Hebrews 1 verse 7 says that he makes his angels spirits. Some translation says winds, but his ministers, he makes them flames of fire. So you are a living flame of fire. Say to yourself, I am Yahweh's living flame. Say it like you're not borrowing it. Say it like the word is being begotten in you as you speak. I am Yahweh's living flame. I shall not burn out. I burn with an ever-increasing intensity. Hallelujah. There is a secret to burning with ever increasing intensity. This builds on what we did last week. We said last week that we are living branches of the consuming fire. And if God has made us a living flame, it means there are, there are fires and there are fire. I was asked to come and announce that it's time for you and I to intentionally bring ourselves and enter into the incubation vault. I have never heard it said go and tell them I'm beginning a project of incubation by fire let's go to Hebrews chapter 1 verse 7 and Luke 24 verse 29 God wants to hatch something out of you he wants to burst wonder out of us Hebrews chapter 1 verse 7 I'll read that one and then together we will read Luke chapter 24 said in speaking of his angels he says he makes his angels spirit and his servants flames of fire you and I were made to be flames of fire we were made to burn but fire has levels and fire has degrees there is a fire that burns paper there is a fire that melts iron Let's go to Luke chapter 24, verse 49. Today, God wants to show you the secret to becoming the kind of fire that pushes back the advancement of hell. Let's read it together. Behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry in the city of Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on a high. You are a living flame. But Jesus is telling you to do what? Tarry. Tarry in Jerusalem. To tarry is to sit. To tarry is to sit one, oneself down. To tarry is to abide. To tarry is to take one seat. To dwell in a particular place. To stay. If you check these different versions, it will say, but remain in Jerusalem. But dwell in Jerusalem. But stay in Jerusalem. But sit. It's actually to sit yourself down in Jerusalem. For the past weeks, we've been hearing God tell us, it's take over time, take over your neighborhood, take over your cities, take over your families, take over your nations, take over your sphere, take over where you are. But then, today, Jesus asked us, he's asking us, tarry ye. Before you go to take over your neighborhood, sit and let me sit on you. Imagine a mother hen brooding over the chick over the eggs if one egg rolls off from under the mother hen not that one will not be hatched there is a you God knows that he wants to hatch hatch out of you there's something God wants to burst from you and today he's telling us though he's saying it to the assembly it is not a corporate call when the hen sits on 10, 10 eggs it does not that when when this when one egg yes as in all of us are eggs if i had or if i'm done does not mean that this one is done it is a very individual act it's an, it's an individual process each egg has to remain there each egg has to go through the process each egg has to be hatched that is why even the mother hen does not blow over the whole thing he she uses her beak to check them one by one 
it's a general call today because you have to hear but God is calling us individually come tarry because there's something that is coming when he asked me to come and announce that the baptism of fire was coming I did not know Pentecost Sunday was by the corner and so sitting down here on Thursday and hearing father talk about Pentecost Sunday for the first time I stopped trying to change today's message because it didn't make sense to me it didn't sound like what this ministry as I'm coming to understand it is I stopped trying to change it and went back and told God what okay what do you want me to say is is telling us the incubation vault is open the first incubation chamber was the upper room ordinary fishermen went in there and took this face they were the first recipient of these instructions and tarried by the time the incubation was done Peter a man who could not stand up to a servant girl at the backyard stood up and spoke with so much courage and clarity and boldness that 3,000 the church did not just get started by that speech 3,000 came into the kingdom you think you've seen the whole of you but fire the consuming fire wants to brood on you and burst something out of you he wants to hash wonder out of you you can choose to remain you can choose to stay you can choose to say that's not that's not my problem he said come and announce but also let them know it is not a corporate act I cannot surrender for you I cannot tarry for you you cannot tarry for me you have to tarry for you for in tarrying empowerment comes in tarrying quickening comes in tarrying you are sent out in tarrying divine activations happen God wants to activate something in us he wants to activate something over this assembly I don't know what this season is about but I feel very strongly is a Kairos season where in a specific there's a specific event God wants to activate. Activate. There's a specific thing God wants to activate. So even hearing that Pentecost Sunday was close by, just put everything for me in perspective. Because when he said, go and tell them the incubation vault is open. The baptism of fire is coming. They need to come into the vault and tarry and sit with me. You tarry in prayer. You tarry in studies. You tarry, you tarry in meditation. You tarry in, in, in looking up to him. The key to increasing intensity is in gazing at him continually. For by gazing, we are changed from one level of intensity to the other. When you constantly gaze, when you constantly behold him as in a mirror, it changes you from one level, from a fire that can only burn headache to a fire that can consume cancer to a fire that can push back hell to a fire that can draw your perimeter and declare no flight zone and nothing flies by to a, a fire that walks into a territory and long after you have gone the glory of the Lord still hovers over that place because a man with an inheritance in eternity had walked into that environment you can rise with me and say Lord count me in Lord count me in Lord count me in I wasn't really given things to come and tell you to say today I literally had to write them by my strengths so even now I'm not permitted to go look at the things I wrote because he told me as I walked down last Sunday go back next week and tell them incubate me by fire that's all I was asked to tell you today this whole week that's what will be posted just incubate me by your fire says I want to hatch I want to hatch wonder I want to burst a you you have never known did Peter know that his sketchy could heal somebody did Peter know that he could talk to educated people did he know he would move from fish a fisherman to fishers of men do I know whom God wants to hatch out of me God is calling us into the chamber so open your mouth and tell God incubate me by fire because nobody goes into the incubation process and comes out the same when the egg goes in a chick comes out incubation nurtures and activates you divine activation there's a baptism of fire yes you have the Holy Spirit but it is written of Jesus how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with fire the baptism of fire is coming it is not going to be a corporate affair because I'm going to tarry for me pastor is going to tarry for himself 
God is, at, is inviting you to tarry for you. Say, Lord, incubate me by fire. Lord, incubate me by fire. Say, I am transformed by fire. I am configured by fire. Say, Lord, incubate me by fire. Lord, incubate me by fire. Open your mouth and say, Lord, incubate me by fire. Incubate me by fire. I surrender to be incubated by your fire. I want and that encounter, that trans, he calls it a transfiguration experience. Meaning you are going to become a completely different person. Say, Lord, incubate me by fire. Iene is asking, Lord, incubate me by fire. Let it begin with me. I want to see what God sees. I want to know who God knows. When God looks at me, what does he see? When God calls my name, whom does he know? I'm interested in seeing that person. Say, Lord, incubate me by fire. Sorry if it's not coming the way he should. I planned to try to move away from this to still go back to the pattern. But even standing here, he's not allowing me to go back to what I wrote. Because what he, all he asks me to tell you is to cry to him. Incubate me by fire. Transform me by fire. I want to be transfigured by fire. I want to become your vision. You cannot go until you have a fire encounter. If you have not tarried, you cannot go. Go and make disciples. Go and take over whole nations. Go and disciple nations. You and I cannot go by our strength. Say, Lord, incubate me by fire. Say, Lord, incubate me by fire. Let that be your.